Throughout my experience with working with large datasets, I've noticed some techniques that uh, data collecting institutes use to save storage and make them their data have less space on computer disks. A common technique is not to use decimals. For example, if you search for temperature data, you'll not see the actual temperatures, that, let's say these are Celsius, you'll not see them like that, but you'll see them without the dots, because that will save storage in the servers. So one character less, that means some bytes less. So your duty as a programmer is to actually divide all those values by 10, so that you get the actual data. So let's say these data were in some text files and we open these data with Python and the course actually covers how to manage, how to open text files in Python. But let us skip that part for now. So let's say we got them loaded as a list here. Now we want to actually divide by 10 any of them. So how do you do that? Uh, well, a technique is to iterate over temps. So for temp in temps, and in each iteration, you want to do temp divided by 10. Uh, but where do we store this temp divided by 10? Uh, well, we can store it in a new list. Let's say new temps. That is an empty list for now. So the loop will iterate through this list. And in, in each iteration, we're going to append this value to new temps. So append this value. That looks OK. And then print out new temps. Let me go ahead and execute that. So this is the desired output. Now that is very correct, uh, but there is a neater way to do this in just one line of Python code. And that is by using list comprehensions. It goes like this. You don't have to create an empty list because a list will be generated dynamically. You'd say temp divided by 10 for temp in temps. Print new temps to see what we get. Execute and you get exactly the same output. So that is a list comprehension. It's a way to build lists without having to create a for loop, a standard for loop, because we actually have an inline for loop in here. Uh, so what's going on here is that we have an iteration here, and in each iteration, we're going to store this value in the list, in the new temps list. So this is like saying store temp divided by 10, but Python will say, OK, but what, what is temp? It's a new variable. We, we don't, we haven't defined it anywhere. And then we say, well, for temp, in temps. So temp is a variable of temps. So that's how you create a list with these values for each of the values of temps. That is a list comprehension.